I'm working very hard. So you're like a, like a proper nine to five boy? No, I meant I'm working like on myself. Like I'm going to the gym, I go to anti-gravity, I go to the CCI gym, I'm doing a lot of self-reflection. I want to salute you, sir. Nilly, nilly. Sir, you're a patriot, sir. Sir, what? You give your life to the... There is a common perception among avid film viewers that the candidness with which celebrity interviews were conducted once upon a time is missing in today's day and age. With a highly controlled PR model that works in favour for actors today and the rampant nature of cancel culture, one restricts their unfiltered takes for themselves but there are few actors who are not fearful of saying as it is in public forums. Through this video, I wanted to cover celebrities who went out of their way of not only being vulnerable but calling out certain problematic aspects of the film industry or simply calling out the line of questions or accusations from journalists. These instances include blunt and confident answers that are often missing in interactions with celebrities today. So here is Tried and Refused Productions with 10 honest and shocking confessions by Bollywood celebrities in live TV interviews. Vivek O'Broy The meme carries on how there was a halt in the superstardom of Vivek O'Broy as he was rising within the film industry as a formidable talent in the initial phase of his career, as he decided to hold a press conference talking about the harassment he faced over the phone because of Salman Khan. This infamous event is often referenced as one of the main reasons why production companies did not want to work with the actor as it presumably burned bridges within the industry. The actor, who had given significantly powerful performances at the start of his career, never rose to his true potential and recounted how he felt ostracized and was ignored by several factions due to this act. I got a letter from a award function that you have won this award for you know, your film company, etc. etc. And after that, I said that you do a job and then you come to the award. One often thinks about the hypothetical of Vivek O'Broy, have the controversies beyond the films just did not exist. Neetu Chandra One actor that often people forget about and who has worked in industries across languages is Neetu Chandra, an actor who put forth a solid performance in a film like Oi Lucky Lucky Oi but never transitioned to feature in more credible work in the Hindi film industry. What many people don't know about the actor is that she worked on a Hollywood project, never back down revolt at the height of the pandemic in 2021, but is still struggling to get work in the Hindi film industry. COVID and this is all that the film released. Amazon Prime has given it in the US 5 stars. I don't have to work in my own place. It's a rather sorry state for some individuals who definitely have the talent but life works in strange ways where the waiting game is far too long and often transforms to become frustrating. One wonders whether Neetu will get a second break at the Hindi films in the future. Saif Ali Khan In the case of movies that release in the Hindi film industry and their ultimate box office performance, one especially formulating theories and essays on what works and what doesn't should realize that no one knows anything. Every time a theory is flung out in the public, it often gets shattered with disruptive content. When one was thinking about Ritik Roshan and Saif Ali Khan in Vikram Veda, people really felt it was going to hit it out of the park financially despite being a remake. But its underwhelming performance really shook the makers and producers. Saif Ali Khan candidly spoke about how some of the economics of the film industry don't really make sense and how there will be a sense of course correction needed in the future. It was pretty much dead cert, as we say, that this yeah. film with these two guys in it is going to open big and since it's so well made, it's going to run. But um, it was disappointing. Our pricing, some of it's in insane. We pay people astronomically and the returns have been not not good. An honest take on the astronomical acting fees in the Hindi film industry that is often not mentioned in public discourse by actors themselves. Preeti Zinta The 90s in the Hindi film industry, especially before the corporatization revolution that took place, was a highly unorganized sector where producers would often start and leave projects due to the lack of funds and in some cases, there was a huge influence and pressure of the underworld for actors to sign and associate with certain projects for their vested interests. In this atmosphere of fear, Preeti Zinta was one of the few actors who stood up against the rogue elements and took the appropriate legal measures to stand up against these voices alone, at a time where no one was willing to speak publicly. Uh, you know, what if I was this simple girl in a small town and this was not this case but a rape case about some rich man's son? They would have killed me. She also in the interview with Simi Garibal speaks very candidly about the sexist nature of how the media covered the event and it really does take a lot of courage for what she did at a time that was considered to be the wild wild west. Everybody was like she's the only man in Bollywood which was 
a lot of bull. Uh, for men to applaud a woman, they need to call her a man. I accept I mean, that. Why can't they just say what a great thing this girl did? Deepak Tijori. A lot of people don't give credit to Deepak Tijori for being associated with some of the best projects in the late 80s and 90s. An actor who would often be in the reckoning for the lead roles of films was getting typecast as the best friend in most commercial projects. One does not really remember Deepak Tijori and his appearances post the mid 2000s because he felt that he was getting stuck in the same rut of playing second fiddle to the main hero, which he expressed recently as he embarks on a new journey of acting and directing. Which colleagues who are my juniors are now also getting Just I feel that Arshad Varsi is one of the biggest talent and right. you know, the greatest talent that yeah. we have and he's stuck because of the image. Usse ek aadmi nikal paya tha wo hai Saif. Ranbir Kapoor. It is often said that the Hindi film industry has faced the vitriol from several factions of society on social media from political factions, news channels to the common public and has been accused of the most random things reflective of the state of the country that one wondered why there isn't action taken by the industry as a collective to stop such inflammatory and sometimes bizarre coverage. And Ranbir Kapoor in a recent promotional interview stated on what has changed within the film industry versus what existed back in the day. अपनापन शायद अभी नहीं रहा इस फिल्म इंडस्ट्री में जहां सब आके एक यू नो त्योहार के वक्त या किसी के फिल्म रिलीज के वक्त एक दूसरे को सेलिब्रेट करते थे एक्चुअली तो आई थिंक आजकल वो जमाना नहीं रहा प्रियंका चोपड़ा During the controversy that was surrounding the release of Padmavat when Deepika Padukone was being threatened publicly Sanjay Leela Bansali was being attacked on his sets and there was a call for banning Padmavat Priyanka Chopra in an interview said how she stands by the makers of the film and wishes that the public can see SLB's creation In the interview the journalist remarked how Hindi actors are not publicly voicing their stand and what Priyanka said is a very accurate assessment of how celebrities especially Hindi film actors become soft targets for any controversy in the nation and new news channels capitalize on their popularity with the same when you put my name or when you as a media house put my name or a public person from the indian film industry onto your ticker people watch it mm-hmm. so we are used so it's not on me or it's not on us it's on you but diljeet dosanjh One of the recent releases on Netflix was the Diljeet Dosanjh starrer Jogi, a film that showcased the journey of a man who made sure to transport his own people to safety when the state was marred with bloodshed and violence. This is a movie that is often referenced as being set in the time of the anti-Sikh riots, but in an interview Diljeet corrected the same terminology with great reasoning that really made people self-reflect on the gravity of the horrors that a section of the population faced in modern Indian history. Riots jab do do group jhagadte hain aapas mein to riots ho jaate hain. लेकिन अगर आप किसी को नेहत्थे किसी पे आप टारगेट करते हो जेनोसाइड हो जाता है करेक्ट आई वुड स्टिल गो आउट ऑफ माय वे एंड टेल यू दैट हिज फिल्म पंजाब 1984 इज वन ऑफ द बेस्ट यू विल सी रिगार्डिंग द सेम अनुष्का शर्मा there is often a discussion on pay parity among actors or what decides the paycheck that male and female actors are getting while in a perfect world one understands that the acting fees is often associated with the box office pull that one has this debate often becomes tricky when dealing with actors who might be of the same popularity anushka sharma in an interview however mentioned that the debate goes beyond the paycheck and actually becomes about the treatment of female actors versus their male counterparts beyond the acting fees where one is compelled to feel inferior to the male actor something that she said comes from personal experience it's not just about the wage that we get we all know we get paid less than what we should yeah. right there's um uh people actually take make an effort to make you feel like you're lesser than the other mm. person whether it's in small ways of like the car you're given the room that you're given you know but it's it's an it's it's you you want to make the boy feel like you are more important to our film salman khan The mid 2000s was definitely the bad boy era of Salman Khan where many of his films were not financially working at the box office and there was extreme turmoil in his personal life with legal trouble regarding the case and a question regarding his relationship that never left him in an interview a journalist bluntly asked him if he had ever attacked a woman and the answer regarding the same and the method in which it is delivered is quite intimidating but extremely clear for what a whack I'm going to give her like my best shot hmm. I don't think she'll survive it so No, it's not true. And that was the video, guys. Write down in the comments below whether you have some video ideas for our channel. Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram. The handle is right in front of you. Follow me at Jammy Pants Four. Also, please support us by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel for weekly content ahead. Thank you for watching.